I'll be Tracer. I'm already Tracer. What about Widowmaker? I'm already Widowmaker. I'll be Bastion. Nerf Bastion. Please. Discretion is advised. Splatling is a weapon class that got a lot of love in Splatoon 2. Splatlings were a class I never really cared to use in Splatoon 1, but I decided to give them a test in Splatoon 2. They seem like an incredibly fun weapon class to get into, and I've been using them casually ever since. It's nice having something matching the range of snipers, and you don't need to aim nearly as much. Just spray and pray that you hit people. The game devs decided to try a ton of new things out in this game in terms of splatling mechanics. There's the typical fast splatling with less range, the all-around splatling, and the beast splatling that took an actual era to charge up all the way. Like, look at this. The dinosaurs lived and died in a shorter time span. I'm not slowing down the footage at all, and even if I was, does it even freaking matter? Uh, we'll get back to you in a minute. They also decided to put a splatter that can hold its charge, and a ballpoint pen. I feel like the person who wrote down different weapon ideas in Nintendo was having writer's block, looked at his ballpoint pen and decided, That's it! That's freaking it! There's several types of splatling users out there. The first type of splatling users are the ones who can stack up as much ink resistance or run speed as they can muster. These boys and girls be ready for the track team by the time they're done picking their gear. Many splatlings especially love this idea. Okay, here we go. Just equip just a little bit of run speed to complement my already fast mini splatling. <laughs> Let's do this, y'all. Ooh, I'm slippery, aren't I, my friend? Get shot by my minigun. Oh, look at you thinking you're fast. Take this, sucker. Sonic, take note. I'm gonna show you how to go fast. Nice win, y'all. We really out here outspeeding these opponents with the completely normal amount of run speed that we have. The second type of splatling users are the ones who wanted to be chargers but couldn't aim, so they just decided to play charger roles but with splatlings. They hold their charge until just the right moment and then unleash havoc on their opponents. They really love to use the heavy, hydra, and sometimes even ballpoint splatling. <sighs> Alrighty, folks, here we go. I got my good old hydra with me and we're gonna completely level the playing field. Now let me just charge up. There we go. I'll be ready for anything. Alright, I'm looking for a clear shot at an enemy. Once I get them in my sights, they shall be decimated. Oh god! Ah! Oh, ha, sucker! I wasn't scared at all. No, no! Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta flank? Ugh. Not only does this man kill me, but he has to dance like a paralyzed dog. Splatlings are loyal supporters of their main splatling too, ready to defend it to the death. Some swear the mini is quick and deadly. Others are proud members of the Hail Hydra... Splatling, of course, movement, and others defend which Nihilus is the best. Oh my gosh, this part isn't scripted, but I just got a notification from YouTube that someone did a Why the Nihilus 79 is better. Oh my gosh, the timing on that was actually freaking scary. Splatlings can decide whether they wish to be offensive or defensive as long as they remember to hold their charge, and they can be great at either or. Ball points especially can go from offensive to defensive in a heartbeat. Oh, look at me. I'm an up-close ball point. Whatever will I do? Ha <laughs> ha You fell into my trap. Guess who has the most range now? The charge of splatlings varies widely and is crucial to one's playstyle. The Nautilus has the ability to hold its charge. The Mini has a charge weight that's just bull crap. And the Hydra... I've mentioned the Hydra. What's hilarious though is you don't even need a full charge to kill with that thing, so it's a redeeming factor and it has its ability to mix up opponents. Splatlings are great for scoping out areas or successfully stopping pushes in Rainmaker and Tower Control, try to pave away in Clan Blitz and Splat Zones. <laughs> oh, Splat Zones. Okay, my team's down, but I can take this zone all on my own. What? How much firepower does this zone need? As mentioned earlier, splatlings are suckers for run speed up, and likely ink save remain too. Come here, give me that boo! Customize your splatlings, the regular mini splatling, and the Nautiluses might like special power up to help make that many more pushes with their specials. Nautilus users also might like swim speed up to travel faster with their charge and aim. In conclusion, splatlings are a very reliable backliner that have really been diversified between Splatoon 1 and 2. They can come in many different versions that, in one way or another, are likely to be very intuitive for each type of player. Sheldon did a very good job assembling this type of weapon, other than having a god dang oversized school pin is one of them. What weapon clash do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe to Alpstar 716 for more content on Splatoon 2 and other things gaming. See you all next time.